you are having like really good rating on code forces code share but then you see that your friend who started very late than you he got internship in microsoft or google seriously what the f hey everyone this is me rachit and welcome to it another video I know that a lot of students went to do software internships in all the cool fan companies Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google, Microsoft and uh, now that period has ended and a lot of you guys have started receiving the good news about pre-placement offers. So congratulations to everyone who have received pre-placement offers and best of luck to those who are still waiting for the result. Now today's video I want to talk about a uh, few incidents which I can recall from my college life. and uh, i am pretty much sure that if you are a college student you would definitely love to hear this one thing which i have realized is that once you get a pre placement offer you are pretty much happy and if you are really passionate probably you would even try for off campus placements and try to get even a better placement that's one option you are happy to try that out but i have seen that the students who have received ppo offers they are really chilled out because they don't have to prepare again for data structures algorithm <laughs> I've seen that not a lot of people are really passionate about learning data structures algorithms and sitting through interviews. I know it's kind of like really daunting and it's too exhaustive at time. So I think it's a very smart and strategic move. Like if you are in the first two years and if you really work hard and you get a good internship in a good company in your dream company, getting a pre-placement offer is really very easy if you show the right signs. And I can't tell you how many messages I've received just because I made this video about how to get a PPO. and what are the things which generally companies are looking forward to in in terms so i think that video was really appreciated by a lot of you guys so thanks for that you can watch that in case you are wondering what are the things which people are looking forward to in in terms but the thing is the expectations from interns is not that high so it increases your chances to get a final ppo offer in your dream company so it's i would say it's a very strategic smart and easy move for you to finally get into your dream company and this is something which people do not realize okay so yeah you started preparing for interviews since day 1 of your college you were really working very hard you are having like really good rating on code forces code share but then you see that your friend who started very late than you he got internship in microsoft or google you but you were not lucky that day So finally they also got a PPO and then you know that they are finally going to start their career as a software engineer in their dream company and here you are cribbing about they do not even deserve that you just start judging and wasting your time it's really not helpful like it's not just about your technical skills and that's what i'm trying to say it's a very smart and brilliant move when you are in your third year and when companies are coming for hiring you the competition is less as compared to the final year because in final year a lot of people get aware about competitive programming data structures algorithms and they even want to get a good job with a good package so they also eventually set for coding interviews so the co competition will be fierce in fourth year or final year and that's why people who realize that and they act smartly they started late but they were smart enough to figure out that it's a very easy lucky draw or i would say a shortcut ticket if you get the internship in your dream company then of course you can also i mean it's not of course but you can get a ppo as well in your dream company so that route or basically following this strategy is really cool and smart and when they are preparing if they are also able to develop their skills of communication and whether they are expressing their ideas clearly they might get an upper hand from you who was always disciplined really hard working but you are not able to communicate your ideas clearly guys it's not just about solving problems it's also about how positive you are and uh, whether the other and whether the company would love to hire and work with you if you are not having the clarity to express your ideas people might judge you wrong in those 45 minutes of interviews because they don't know your story or the amount of efforts you have already put in it all depends on how you communicate in those 45 minutes so realize the importance of this and i hope you are not in the position wherein you are judging people but if you are you are not helping yourself guys you are just filling your mind with negativity that's all you are doing it will only make you demotivated and it will it will basically make you procrastinate things all right so develop the skill to be happy in others happiness everyone deserves to be happy right you will never feel good just by cribbing or wishing about someone else's life and then making their life more miserable you would never want that i mean i'm hoping my audience is not that sadistic you are struggling in your life it's fine but we all are struggling like even if you join us sd once later on after graduation 
there will be a race for everyone to jump to SD2s, then SD3s, then senior engineers. So the race will never end in life and you should be a part of everyone's happiness. That's the overall point that I'm trying to communicate this way. Even you are filling your mind with positivity and derive inspiration rather than jealousy. So channelize your emotions correctly so that you are always working hard to develop your potential. So that's all I had to say in this mind. Stay positive and always focus on your skills because that's exactly which will help you in living your life the way you want it. All right. Always work on your skills. Bring positivity and inspiration from other people's life. Be happy for them. Send out positive vibes. Develop the ability to communicate with people. Share your ideas clearly. That's very important. Think about it like you are working so hard. Please also focus on such qualities. All right. That's pretty much it guys. I hope you like the video and congratulations to everyone who are getting these good news of pre-placement offers. I hope the people who are still waiting, I hope the good news reaches to your doorstep very soon.